Hello, my Pisces friends. Welcome to your November 16th through 30th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective energy for all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. I got had a nice little hiccup there, so <laughs> got that out of the way. Here we go. The Justice card, Libra Major Arcana, and the Star card, Aquarius Major Arcana. Solid energy of focusing on your goal, letting your higher self guide you, being in a place of closing off your human sight, and staying focused with divine source. These are her hands. She's using her palm chakra energy, so being in a place of focused, deliberate, balanced energy toward the goal. Nothing else but the goal. She's not focusing her rays all over the place like a like a, a, a rave. She's doing a straight shot right to her what the point is. Get to the point and stay focused on the point. The star card, the energy of being very much in a place of divine expansion as the soul star expands out. It is the yes from the universe for your soul's desire to be granted. So third eye is open, crown chakra is open, everything's cooking. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit. Well, look at that, queen of swords. Divine spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So that Queen of Swords energy is being on point, having, having all the knowledge you need and being able to assimilate it in a way that allows you to illuminate all the things you're doing. Now, that may even be acing a job interview, which is perfectly fine. We'll take that, right? So we have the Seven of Pentacles showing up here, which is the fruit is on the vine. We've invested our energy and our time in something that is now starting to bear fruit. It is still ripening. It's not quite time for harvest, but that could happen during the reading or very shortly because it's not far off. Turning out better than you'd expected with the Six of Pentacles. This is the energy of abundance coming in. It means a windfall or something turning out better than you'd hoped. We have the Queen of Wands. This is feminine energy of action. So it means something new being developed or starting uh, starting into this new energy. Whether it's a, a higher position that you're doing or something that you're now taking on the ownership of in the entrepreneurial spirit of something new coming in. We have the Chariot. That's the Cancer Major Arcana. This is the energy of being like Cleopatra. Being very, very much in a place of victory. Very fast moving energy, a promotion, an upgrade, and all the things around you improving dramatically due to this change in energy. There's the Pisces King, the King of Cups. This is the energy of, as you as a Pisces, this is the energy of something fully formed and able to move forward because the King is that energy. The feminine energy is the new development. The King is something that's already brought itself into wholeness. And it can also mean love and affection and things like that. Now we have the hanged man. This is looking at things from a different perspective, allowing yourself to get up in that higher mind, just like in that Libra Major Arcana you saw, and in the Aquarius, that wheel is part of that crown chakra. So allowing yourself to see things from a higher perspective allows you to see the bigger picture. All information you need is being given. This page of swords is the energy of coming in with the knowledge that you need or information. It could be a conversation or a download. It could just be an idea that pops in your head. I have those all the time. Well, looky there. Here comes the, here comes the crack a lacking. We got the electric current going here. So very focused, very much in balance. This means right decisions being made. And hello, queen. So on point. If you are trying to start a new business or get a new job, 
This is a very solid confirmation, Pisces. As you step away from what was old or fully done, something you're just tired of or you've taken it as far as you can and you just can't take it anymore, stepping into this new possibility that you're grabbing hold of and moving forward, turning your back on the old. Sometimes we just need a whole new gig, right? So here's the emperor. See this beautiful filled in golden zodiac wheel? This is something that's saying this is fully now fully actualized, ready to be made use of, and it's showing up. And it is also the energy of the Aries. So this is the Aries major arcana. However, it's also the universe as the masculine. So it means the universe has your back on manifesting something all the way through to the point where it actually can be uh, made effective for you. And the lightning strike coming in with the Knight of Swords, very fast moving energy, literally like a lightning strike. So it can be information, divine download. It can be somebody calling you from out of the blue. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. Here comes Archangel Michael, King of Swords. Very, very much in a place of protection. Again, the, the beautiful light on the tip of the sword there, or on the uh, about halfway down, or a third of the way. This is the energy of being very focused and all obstacles being removed as the King of Swords is helping to help you move forward with protection. Here's the King of Cups again. Very solid, mature energy. This can mean a divine offer coming in, someone wanting your highest good, or you being in a position of being able to move forward in this fully manifested energy of the masculine. Remember to take good self-care, okay? If you're burning the candle at both ends to get something done, you can't do that forever. So it's best if you get in the habit of having the, the downtime, you know, kind of balancing. That's really important to balance your energy as to, you know, go, go and... <laughs> I'm going to say it, going balls out. <laughs> That's what one of the guides just blurted out. Balls to the wall, balls out. This is the energy. You you got to have the time to allow yourself to catch your breath and take a moment, get good sleep, eat good food. If you're not taking good self-care, you're going to cause yourself a hitch. You'll, you'll have to take a downtime if you don't do that. Here comes the money and the financial stability, the four of pentacles with the chariot. So that's the upgrade energy as you're going to find your way on how that's going to accumulate for you. Now, then we've got, well, I haven't heard anything. I don't know what's happening. I'm starting to get worried. I don't know which direction to go. This is the energy of something happening behind the scenes that is not visible to you yet. It doesn't mean it won't be. It means it's just not ready to be. <laughs> When we get in the energy of this five of pentacles, sometimes we start to make bargains and, and try to find a way for us to take action. And it's just not possible. It's an energetic thing and you have to let it move. And to help it move, we have the divine clarity of the ace of swords. This is the energy of victory, break through, break through the clouds, cutting through the veil, allowing the light to come through and for it to show you the way forward. So that's what that meditation is about for the seventh chakra there. That hanged man energy is saying, get into that ground chakra and you'll be shown the way. Now we have the king of rods. This is the energy of action. This is the energy of full manifested ability to move forward in what you want to do. So solid, solid fire sign energy as well. There's, there it is again crown chakra stay in the place that's what this is talking about stay in the place of balance illuminate yourself be in a place of open energy to allow yourself to be guided 
You've got soul family energy, the Six of Cups, which is very beautiful divine energy of support and guidance in this lifetime. As you help them, they help you. This is the energy of support that is there to help you with this new idea or new thing that's coming in. And the universe never fails to allow us to have all that we need. This is the energy of abundance, the wave of abundance. And this cup is holding the beautiful energy of being fed or being taken care of and provided for. It's saying as you go forward, you will have all that you need and it will be given to you. Don't overthink it. Staying out of the energy of the two of swords is, is very hard because sometimes when things don't make sense and miraculous things often do not, we want to be in a place of trying to reverse engineer it. And this is not that time. You've got to be in a place of belief and allow yourself to move forward with spiritual mindset. Remember, so this is an absolute opposite energy. You look at this. You see that? This is where you're trying to depend on your your logic and your mind and, and the power of knowledge but you have to depend on the divine because that's what the real thing is so this will not work you have to stay in this energy i hope you all have a beautiful second half of november my pisces friends i'm always pleased to be able to give you a good forecast and thank you for being part of my channel low these many years as we start to embark on our next cycle together we shall come through all of this it's continuously optimistic and bringing ourselves to the next phase of whatever it is that we're going through in cycles in our lives in a place of support and divine soul family energy i love all of you thank you for being here and i'll see you in december namaste my friends